A lot of people think that uh, my images are dark. Uh, in fact, I had an assistant one time who was bringing her mom to the uh, to the shop, and uh, she told me that she'd ask her mother. Said, "said Mom, what do you think uh, Barry's going to be like?" And she said, "Well, knowing him from, only from his work, I, I, I would think that he's probably a very tall man, thin." Uh, very pale and gaunt, probably rarely gets into the sun, probably doesn't have much of a sense of humor, and so on and so forth. Um, all of that is wrong. Um, I'm short, fat, and love to go to the Caribbean as often as I possibly can and get in the sun. And, um, and I love a good joke. But the work itself, the, the engraving, seems to elicit from people a response that is dark. Um, and it is, and the reason that it is dark is because if you take a wood engraving block or a resin engraved block and you print it without doing anything to it, it prints black. And I have a tendency to go towards darkness and, uh, you know, emotional darkness in my work um, more so than I do towards uh, levity, shall I say. The lozenge, the one that has two curving surfaces come together, its characteristic line is a swelling line. It starts out very thin, swells in the middle, tapers off at the end. The, the graver, its characteristic line is a line of constant width, like so. And the burin its characteristic line is very similar to the, uh, the lozenge, except it's a little bit less subtle. There's this tool here that's curved like a, like a bird's beak, and it's simply used to prick the surface. And those little white marks print. There's a book I have over there on the shelf called a, a, An Engraver's Glow. And there are only about 370 people in the book. And that's about how many there are in the world that have the, that are crazy enough to do this medium. Because this medium does not forgive mistakes, and um, that's why you work really hard to not make any.